Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and welcome to the third dimension. So, you know, I hope you guys are doing good and uh, you're enjoying the facade videos that I'm uploading. There are a lot of things to learn, so make sure you watch each and every minute of those videos. And, <coughs> excuse me, you know, the biggest problem I have, I believe, is that my videos usually extend the time, so they kind of get a bit boring. Uh, I have to speed up my video. So, uh, today is, a um, you know, another facade video and... Uh, I think it even it does not have uh, any specific name but it has a, a good nice shape all right so i just went to families i opened the curtain panel and uh, let's go to un uh un <coughs> excuse me let's quickly change this to meters and uh, two decimal places and m all right let's change the size of this to what two by um six okay which is a, a sort of a one ratio three and, and then uh, let's go to references references and points let's place a point right here let's place a point right here and then let's go to set and set this and uh, let's place a point right here let's place a point right here so now let's choose this point and uh, let's choose this point and let's give it an offset of 1.5 meters okay both of them are offsets offset it and uh, <coughs> excuse me let's go to reference and, uh, let's select on point and let's give it an offset i mean let's set the plane and give it an offset so now we have selected this and uh, let's give it an offset of what 1.5 okay so 1.5 meters excuse me so um now let's uh, click on that point and that point and let's join it up and let's change into our reference plane and then let's click on that point and uh, let's click on that point let's uh, attach it and change it into a reference plane and uh, let's click on that point um, e what else that we had to do so that point and uh, let's click on that point and let's uh, attach and change to reference plane and then that and uh, that and uh, attach and reference plane and uh, the same case is going to be so this point and this point um, attach and uh, reference plane and then that point and that point and attach and uh, reference plane okay so everything um, everything looks good right all right so um let's click on the <coughs> excuse me let's click on this and let's click on this let's go to attach and uh, reference plane and uh, let's click on this and let's click on this and attach and uh, reference plane and uh, let's click on this and let's click on this so attach and uh, convert it into a reference line not a plane <coughs> okay so everything uh, looks good now let's click on that that and three and uh, let's make a shape out of this so the thickness for this is going to be um, 0 0.03 meters okay fine and uh, <coughs> excuse me so so let's uh, click on this and uh, two and uh, three and uh, the workflow is kind of the same and uh, this is going to be 0 0.03 meters and uh, it is the same so one two and uh, three uh, attach and uh, the thickness is gonna be what is the thickness gonna be so I think we kind of have done a mistake in this isn't it mm, for example um, nope see so one no oh oh my god one uh, how about you go to tab? All right, so wait, it is still not selected. Yes, now it's selected. So one and uh, two and uh, three, and uh, let's quickly make that. And the thickness of this is again going to be 0 0.03 meters. And <coughs> excuse me uh, the final one one two and uh, three right here guys excuse me for my sore throat it has been almost a month so 0 0.03 meters so this is it right uh, this is the shape and uh, now let's go to file and uh, new and uh, conceptual mass conceptual mass and uh, let's open up a mass so let's go to um our top view and uh, let's simply place a line right here so the first thing is always uh, the units un and uh, let's change this to to what two meters and uh, two decimal places and uh, meters okay okay this is placed and um, 
Now, if you guys remember, the size of that was 2 by 6, right? So how about we go to um, plane and uh, how about we rise here? And uh, what is this going to be? For example, 6. So we go with uh, 12 meters. Fine. Or how about um, 18 meters? And uh, now um, let's uh, change this. Let's go to surface representation. Let's activate nodes. And uh, for example, um, this is going to be... What is this going to be? 1. All right, and uh, this can be fixed distance. So that was a two, isn't it? Okay, so there's gonna be um, two right here. So now no patterns. And uh, where is our family? Where's our family? Where's our family? Okay, it's not even loaded in. Load into project. Fine. And uh, now if we go to that, uh, load into project. So if we select on this, and uh, here's a family too. All right, this is it, guys. Uh, this is the facade, and uh, look at how nice it is. So you know, it's sort of a, a rise and fall facade. We have a rise of 1.5 meters, and then there's a fall. This sort of a you know, this hedges, right? These hedges shapes up and down, up and down, up and down. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something from it, and um, make sure to like and subscribe, all right? And uh, you can even play with this a little bit. For example, if the vertical is a uh, fixed distance, so uh, two by six, so it means that every node has to be six meters apart. So then, you know, look at this, look at what we have done. We have changed it. And uh, instead of six, how about we go to um, six, 12, 18, 12. Um, apply. All right, now we have two. So uh, half of nine, uh, half of 18 meters is nine. Okay, now we have two, right? So you can play with this a little bit and uh, then accordingly you can fix it. Uh, if we simply go to 18, so there's going to be this one and long one. So it, it's quite a nice facade, isn't it? This hedges and uh, it represents hedges and the zigzag sort of a rise and fall, right? So have fun and bye-bye. Uh,